Welcome back, Stasa23 here, back again with some night therapy. And uh, today's video is being done in Pigeon Forge, uh, Tennessee. I'm here on vacation with my family. And uh, before I get started though, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down works as well. And today I'm going to give you my EDC loadout on some of the items I brought with me. And I'm gonna explain why I brought the certain items with me. Um, We'll get started. <laughs> First one is the uh, CJRB. No, it might be Artisan. I got to wait till I think it's the Artisan. Oh, what's the name of this one? Just did a video on this. Um, if it comes to me, I'll say it, but just a small little fixed blade. It's always good to have fixed blade. And I know I'm able to carry one here in Tennessee because they have awesome knife laws. Nice lightweight package, Kydex, and I added this um, <coughs> utility clip, and just because I like to carry this in the pocket, the front, uh, my front right pocket, I clip this part onto the pocket. It sits in there, or my back pocket. It has an excellent retention on, excellent retention on that Kydex sheath. <coughs> this is a Mike Emler design, and if you want to hear more of my opinions on this knife definitely go check out my video um this is in this is the artisan yeah just i love this comfortable you know choke up position and that nice precise point excellent excellent to have a fixed blade on you when when possible i try at least the edc size one next item <laughs> i brought my uh lynch all access pass pry bar, bottle opener, flathead. And I like the fact that this has a pocket clip. I use this, <coughs> the, I'm gonna be honest, the, the most I use the uh, the pry bars is in my shop, you know, prying, prying stuff apart. I use this a lot, not this one, because it doesn't have a deep hole right there, but to pop pivots out if they're stuck into something works excellent for that, but I also use the, this to pry a lot with, and as a flathead, works excellent for that, and that's why I like it, and it's cool looking too. <clears throat> All right, I don't have a tripod, so I'm doing this with one hand. I'm sorry if it's shaky, and I really can't open most of this stuff, some of it, because I don't have two hands, but it's always good to have a multi-tool. This one's very compact. This one right here stays in my toiletry bag, so, Wherever I travel to, I'll always have, you know, at least a small little knife, a pair of scissors, a file, a flathead, and I think a Phillips head at least, and a small little pliers right there in the inside. I'll tell you what, this thing, this one's new because my other one was beat to, to garbage. I wish I, I think I gave it to somebody, but if I, if I still have it, I'll show that one. It had so much nice wear on it, but one of the tools had snapped because I was doing something stupid with it. It's a Leatherman Squirt PS4. Great to have multi-tool, you know, especially we're staying in a cabin, so you never know, you know, what you can, what you might need it for. Also, always good to have a writing utensil. I just have, happen to have an expensive one. This is, a, I think, the Tactile Turn Clicky, I think it is. This is the titanium version. I love this pen. It writes really well. It has a titanium pocket clip, which... I don't really care that it's a titanium pocket clip. I just care that it has a pocket clip because I like to I like to clip stuff. I don't like anything floating around in my pockets. Uh, it's got some nice milling on there. Sorry, the lighting's not the best either because I'm in a I'm in a game room in this place and this is a pool table. I'm doing this off obviously. <laughs> uh, nice little fidget factor there, you know, to aggravate the family with. <laughs> Alrighty. <coughs> Next up, I brought two lights, but this has been my favorite as of late because it's nice and small. You can see, you know, on side of the drift, the Appalachian Drifter. It's a nice small titanium body and it has a pocket clip. That's a big, big win. Um, very bright, I think it's a thousand lumens on high, as you can see there. And I like how it's got a momentary where you can just press the button and it doesn't stay on all it. To make it stay on, you gotta, double click it fast and then it stays on and then you just hold it to click it off i added this little leather this little lanyard thing 
<clears throat> another plus about this one is it has a recharge port right there so I don't have to unscrew it and put the batteries in the charger or anything. Awesome little light. This is the Rovivon. Let's see. God, the lights are terrible in here. The Rovivon. There's the stuff. Aurora A24 tie. I'll try to leave links to whatever is in stock. And I also brought my, this is, this had been my favorite light. I've owned like four of these. This is the Streamlight Micro USB. And I had the one like this, the black one like this, that didn't have my favorite feature that this one has, but this is just a perfect small, I think it's like 200 lumens. I mean, perfectly bright enough for pretty much 98% of the task I, I use the light for, but this is my favorite part. You lift that up and it has a charging port. I love that feature. And another thing that I love about this light, especially, is I'm old school. I, I, my muscle memory always takes me to the back of a light. You know, that's just how they always used to be. And I love having that tail clicky. Um, that's the only thing that I don't like about the uh, Rovivon is the, the click buttons on the side. You know, it's not the end of the world. I still love the light. I carry it <laughs> more than this one now. But I much prefer the tail click option. Alrighty. Then, of course, being that I got knives with me, I had to bring a little tool just in case one of them got loose. So this little work sharp uh, tool, if you hear somebody talking, I'm sorry about that. Um, family's upstairs. Um, it's got three Torx drivers. It's got a T6, T8, and I think a T10. And that will take care of almost every knife. You know, some, some knives, you know, customs or something might have a T15 or, you know, an oddball knife might have something bigger than that. But this is going to handle most of y'all's. Now, I, the, the drivers that came with it for the price were, were perfectly fine, but I swapped these out with Weha drivers because that's my preferred tool. You take the, the driver out, I can't do it on the camera, take the driver out and you put it in that little slot. It's got a magnet slot right there and then, then you can turn left to right and get some good torque with it. And not that I ever used this before, but you also have a diamond, uh, rod right here and on this side you have a ceramic so in a pinch you know you could use it to um tune up a knife too cool little piece of gear and they're really cheap i forgot the price tag on them but i'll try to link it down below and of course the knives well first <laughs> i tend to always bring one of these but being that the waypoint has been getting the most love here lately because you know it's still fresh it's I bought it got it this year and I still love this knife. I wanted to show the, the Drifter some love. And the reason why I got these two is because both of these are um, pretty much rust proof. They're both in Vanek steel, both in Vanek steel. Uh, I, I've modded mine. This one's got, a, I put an orange peel on it and I, I think that's an OxyClean finish I did on there just to try something different. And then I modded this Toil area to get to the lock a little bit easier but everything on here is rust proof or close to it very thin lightweight and the the importance of this is because I'm <clears throat> I'm on a vacation you know that we might not have some silverware or something using this to cut food with uh, pretty much anything and leave it you know uh, close it up and leave it on the on the counter or something like that and forget about it you know, if you leave, you know, either one of those knives, you'll probably have rust when you come back in the morning. And not to mention, I love both of the knives, super lightweight. They, they don't take much room up in the pocket. Even though this one's wider, it still rides well in the pocket. Deep carry pocket clips on both of them. You have the wire pocket clip on this one. I, re, I changed this one to a Lynch wire, the wire pocket clip replacement, just because I wanted to, and it's a little bit more comfortable in the hand for me. Um, but both excellent knives. I don't think, I, I know this one's out of stock. I'm pretty sure right now, but I'm, I know he's going to be doing another run of these. You just got to pay attention because they do small batches and I'm not sure about the, uh, drifter. <coughs> Alrighty. Now this, um, Civivi Appalachian drifter. I brought this one because that first 
I wasn't sure the laws here in uh, Tennessee. So just in case they, they didn't allow locking knives, this is the one I was gonna be carrying because this is a slip joint, a ball detent slip joint. Uh, I still have to do my review of this one. I may review it while I'm here because I, I, I think I'm ready to because I've used this a good bit even while we're down here. And I think I formed my conclusion on it. Uh, I will say this thing is super thin. I think I measured this one. It's like seven thousandths behind the edge. I mean, it's hard to show, but paper thin. And uh, I'll talk more about that in the full review. And the last one, <coughs> this is the Benchmade <coughs> bailout, M4 bailout in M4 steel. It's coated. The reason why I brought this one is this is a beater for me. You know, I'm not, I don't, I don't baby this one at all. Um, it's holding up okay. It's got some scarring on the, the coating. It, it hasn't had a ton of uh, rough use just because I hadn't had anything come up. But I'm not worried about it. You know, I know I could easily get another one of these if I wanted to. I added these titanium scales from Rock Scale Designs. But I brought this one because it's, it's inevitable that somebody on the trip, up my, it's me and my family here, so we have a lot of us here, and somebody's gonna ask me to use a knife, and I, I wouldn't give them the drifter because it doesn't lock and I'm scared they would close it on themselves, and wouldn't give them a frame lock because they don't know how to do that. And <laughs> I decided why not give them this one because I don't care. You know, they, I know they're not gonna hurt it. M4 is very tough. It holds a good edge. It's it's slicey enough. You know, those two, that one especially, I just sharpened that one. That one's hair whittling. So if they make a mistake, it's gonna be a bad mistake. So uh, I feel more comfortable handling this. They got a, they got a full size handle. These scales are grippy because of the blasting. So it just made a lot of sense. So there you go. That is my pool table roundup EDC, my, my pool table drop or pool table dump, as you wanna call it. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the stuff I showed you tonight, uh, let me know down in the comments. And let me, I would like to hear which, what uh, what y'all bring on your, your trips. If y'all bring any knives or do y'all bring any gear with y'all. Now, like I said, of course, uh, I don't always bring a whole bunch of stuff. I, I tend to always bring at least a, a, a knife or two, usually more, but um depending on where we're going if i'm going out of the country i don't bring any knives just that's just too risky and i don't you know whatever i don't want my wife to give me any dirty looks <laughs> so uh there you go i hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day y'all let me know what y'all think if y'all want to keep seeing videos from from the my vacation let me know i have all my family members that want to do a video with me and uh if y'all want to see them we're gonna do it all right, guys and girls, hope everybody's had an absolute wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.